The Eternal Alliance is getting stronger every day, Commander. Worlds across the galaxy have sent us tribute, and everyone respects your authority as Emperor. Well, almost everyone. There's another rebellion on Zakul. What are your orders? The rebels will have second thoughts once they're living in the shadow of my eternal fleet. Consider them scared straight. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iokath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lana equals full of herself. Focus on the mission. Have you found the super weapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts, and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana, what's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it! Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iokath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. They'll stand down if they know what's good for them. Get me Empress Asina and whoever's leading the Republic forces these days. That would be Supreme Commander Jace Malcolm. Judging by enemy comm traffic, it sounds like Asina and Malcolm are leading the charge on Iokath. So much for our alliance with the Empire. That super weapon must be quite the prize. According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Then we have no choice. We can't let this weapon fall into the wrong hands. How should we proceed, Commander? We'll meet you on Iokath, Lana. Head for the fleet spire and start clearing a landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet, converge on Iokath immediately and await my orders. We have a war to win. You're looking as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. No, 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 no! Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the superweapon.
The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. Tell the Gemini captains to find a workaround. In the meantime, we'll head to the surface and establish a landing zone. Good call. If there's any way to help our fleet, we'll find it on Iocath. Commander, welcome back to Iacath. I hate it when work keeps us apart. At least the reunions are all the sweeter. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger-happy friend sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin! I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. You're looking more potent than ever, my lord. Quinn? Is that you? In the flesh. Have you come to stab me in the back again? Or was once enough? I will go to my grave, regretting the treachery I undertook for Darth Barris. You'll go there sooner than you think, Major. I hate to interrupt this reunion, but I have a time-sensitive request. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you, in private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Get your leaders on the line. Both of them. It's about time we sort out this mess. Right away. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. You were strong once, but now you're standing in the shadow of my eternal alliance. And you want a weapon to even the odds. We're taking up arms against the imps, Commander, not you. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood. But that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. The Empire is already my ally. Why should I break that bond to side with you? Asina tried to steal the superweapon out from under your nose. In my book, that's grounds to dissolve your partnership. He has a point. This is absurd. We acted to stop the Republic from raining destruction on our heads. Yours too, Commander. You once fought for the Empire as wrath personified. Now you can embrace that power once more. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our Empires can both partake in the spoils of Iocath. You've worked with the Empire more recently. What do you make of Asina's offer? We've already allied with the Empire. If we turn against them now, what message does that send to the rest of our followers? It tells them we don't honor agreements with traitors. Don't forget, she trespassed on Iocath without your permission. A small transgression. If I had to choose, I would join forces with the Empire. The Republic's a safer bet. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
she got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Quinn, we'll continue with this reunion later. For now, I need you to defend the Fleet Spire. With pleasure, my lord. The Republic's scum will rue the day they trespassed on Iacath. May the Force serve us all.